Hello crochet lovers, it's Diane here again. Thank you so so much for clicking on this video. Here is another crochet tutorial that I thought you might enjoy. This is the Snowy Days Slouchy Beanie and Scarf. It's soft and warm with a fun and casual yet stylish design. If there are any beginners out there that would like to make a Christmas gift, then this is one for you. It's surprisingly simple to make. And as always, I will walk you through step by step to show you how to make this set. You will need an Aran or worsted weight yarn, a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook for the beanie, and a nine millimeter crochet hook for the scarf. I've made this in a beautiful cream color, but of course you can make it in whichever color you like. I've done this in a two part series and in this first video I'll be showing you how to make this great beanie. If you would like to join our little crochet lovers community just press the subscribe button it's free. There will be plenty of yummy crochet projects coming to keep you entertained and inspired. Okay, starting with a slip knot. We're going to chain seven. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one, two, hook in there, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull your hook through both loops. That's a single crochet. And again, hook in. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now single crochet all the way along each stitch of the foundation chain. So you're going to have six stitches in total plus your turning chain. So chain one, sorry, try and get that on camera. Chain one, turn your work. And now we're going to crochet into the back loop only. So skipping this chain one here, put your hook into the back loop and make a single crochet. And again into the next stitch, single crochet <clears throat> into the back loop only.
And if you just keep a note that you've always got six, six stitches along, you, the edges will stay nice and straight. So chain one, turn your work. And single crochet into the back loop only and <clears throat> putting a single crochet into the back loop gives is what gives it the ribbing effect. Okay, <clears throat> so um, I'm going to do a few more rows and I'll meet you back in a few more rows so you can start to see what this look starting to look like. So I've done a few rows so you can see how the effect of this starts to make and it does stretch a little so Keep crocheting until you've made it to the length. If you measure around your head and I've measured around my head is actually with all my hair and everything is around 22 inches. Um, but because this does stretch a little and you do want it to grip you don't want it too loose I'm probably I'm going to um, crochet up to uh, 21 inches so just show you another row chain one at the end of the row and single crochet into the back loop there Single crochet into the back loop all the way along, making sure you've always got six stitches in your row to keep the edges straight. And that last one. There we go. Chain one and turn your work. So continue now um, until you reach the length that you want your headband to be. And I'll see you there. Okay, so we've got the we've crocheted the the ribbing to the length required. What you need to do is Bring the two ends together. And we're going to use a slip stitch to sew the two ends together. So put your hook through this side and also in the corner through the corner of the other side. Yarn over and pull through and pull through again. Then into the next stitch and the next stitch on the other side. Pull your yarn through and slip stitch. And do this all the way along.
and you have the two two ends together. So now what we want to do is turn it the right side up and we're going to double crochet in every stitch along. So chain two, put a double crochet in this one here. If you look at the pattern, you can see the stitch we've just worked and this stitch here and then we come over and work a stitch in the top of this one and this one and this one and this one. So double crochet double crochet just kind of feel your way through the stitches as evenly as possible. So put one in there. Now what we want to do is we want an even number amount of double crochets all the way around. So continue to double crochet and count, the, count them as you're going. And if you need to add in, if you're finding that it's going to end here on an odd number, <coughs> you can, it, it's, it's not a big deal. You just pop in an extra crochet into the same stitch, which will just create an extra stitch. So continue to make a double crochet all the way around till we get to here and I'll meet you there. So now we're coming towards the back around to the seam. So we put a double crochet in here. And a double crochet in here. And to finish the round, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain just there. Okay, now we're going to start on the next round by chaining uh, two. Um, sorry chaining four and we are going to skip this stitch here and double crochet into this one here. So yarn over, put 
your hook through, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, then chain one, then we're going to skip one and double crochet into the next. So yarn over, hook through, pull up a loop, there's three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, double uh, skip, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, and chain one, skipping a stitch, double crochet into the next, chain one, So continue along all the way around, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch and then double crochet all the way around. I'll meet you back there. Okay, so we're coming around to the end of this round again. We put in a double crochet here, chain one, and skip a stitch and put a double crochet in here. Chain one. And to finish this round, we will one, two, Slip stitch in the third chain up on this first chain that we made in this round. And we have our first round of double crochet skip a chain and now we go back it's a two row repeat now of the double crochet row here and the double crochet skip one double crochet so now we do a row of double crochets so chain two and uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll double crochet straight into that space there and then double crochet if we want now you can either go this side of the post or this side of the post but we double crochet I'm going to go into the stitch just to this side of the post so double crochet into there and then one double crochet straight into the space here. Just work it like a normal stitch, double crochet. And then double crochet at the top of that post just there. So continue 
double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we're just at the end of this round. Uh, so put a, a double crochet into that last chain one space. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain at the top there just to finish off the round. <clears throat> So there is your two row repeat. So continue with the next round, chain four, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next. chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. So continue, continue on now, We're, uh, with the two row repeat of a double crochet and the double crochet skip one and keep going um, until you want this hat to be kind of a slouchy style so I'm going to do mine around 12 to 13 inches tall. So keep going, crochet all the way up and I'll meet you when you're at the top of your hat. So I'm just making my way round to the end of a double crochet round and we'll just give this a quick measure. The right way up the tape measure. And it's about 11 and it's 11 and a half inches in length, maybe slightly over. It does stretch a little. So I'm going to make that the length of my hat. So we'll just finish this row And to join one, two, three, slip stitch into the top of there. Finish. <clears throat> and to finish off. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we're going to need leave a long tail just so 
around the top of the hat. So just wanting to make sure we've got plenty. So leaving a long tail, then pull, pull that all the way through, snug that down. And there we go. All we need to do now is cinch in the top. Okay, so what we need to do now is turn the whole hat inside out. And bring our yarn through. And using a darning needle, I'm going to weave in and out of these stitches here. It doesn't have to be every stitch, so start with this one. I'm going to do every other stitch, so so it's not too bulky when we pull it through. Let's pull that through, back up through here. Back down through there. So keep on weaving in and out. All the way around your hat until you get round to the other side. Obviously trying not to get it into a tangle. <laughs> so when you've weaved in and out of every other stitch, all the way around your hat, I'll meet you back at this end. So we're nearly round to the where we started, which was just here. So more stitches and then all we do is pull on the yarn pull the camera out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm pulling on the yarn, pulling the whole of the top of the hat together. Pull it nice and tight. There we go. Now once once you've got it tight, you take the needle off. Oops. Uh, 
Oh, he bumped the camera there. Um, pull that nice and tight and grab the yarn there and tie a knot. And then just going to snip off some of this excess yarn. and thread in across where the, the hole would be. Okay. Put that through there. Pull. And sort of crisscross a, a little bit where the top of the hat is just to bring the hole together and then you create a little loop Feed the needle through the loop once, twice, and pull just to <clears throat> secure that end down. And your hat is done. Now, obviously, you need to go around and Tie in your loose ends very quickly. Show you just weave these in and out. So continue to go around your work and weave in your loose ends and also the one at the beginning. And then we can turn the hat back the right way. And here is your slouchy beanie.